If you have ongoing exposure to controlling people, it's a virtual certainty that you're going to experience blurry boundaries, which is why I have created the extensive online course called This Is Me, Establishing Boundaries with the Controllers in Your Life. There's a link below that will give you all of the details, and I hope that you would find it therapeutic. Let's step into a space today of understanding regarding the passive aggressive controlling games that narcissists want to play with you. Now, let's keep in mind that an identifying, a major identifying feature of narcissism is the craving to be in control over you. And they tend to be very aggressive in the way that they do life. But sometimes narcissists decide, well, you know, maybe I don't need to be quite so out there. They have so many different arrows in their quiver. It's like, yeah, I can be pushy and forceful and harsh and uh, and and um, uh, blaming in the way that I do things. But then other times it's like, yeah, well, I just don't want to be quite that out there. I don't want to be held accountable and I don't want to give you something to, uh, to come back at me with. And so that's when they can go into this passive aggressive uh, style. And it's very sneaky and it's very successful, if you will, if you're the kind of person that says, I love to be in control over people. They, they'll do anything that they can to keep an edge over you. And when they go into this passive aggressive style, it gives them the extra advantage, if you will, of gaslighting. It keeps you dysregulated and wondering, you know, which end is up. I want to go through seven of the most common passive aggressive control games narcissists will play. And I want you to see how many of these might relate in your circumstances. Now, the first game we're going to uh, go to is, uh, I call it, I intended to, but. Now, let's keep in mind, narcissists can be very image conscious. They want to give the impression that they may be a nice person or they're willing and helpful. But there are some individuals that they can give you the impression that they're with you and they're for you, but they seem to have an uncanny knack for having something coming up that keeps them from having the full follow through. They're just not very reliable, but they're reliable in a pleasant sort of kind of way. Look at me. I, 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 uh, I, I give you all sorts of good, good kudos. I make all sorts of nice promises. Now, it, sure enough, plans can change and, uh, and, uh, circumstances can, uh, can cause you to have to be pulled off your, uh, your game plan. But there are so many times when that narcissist goes way beyond just that routine. They can be very evasive. Uh, their word is pretty much meaningless. When they tell you something, it just isn't going to happen. And then when you try to call them out on it, you know what the problem is? The problem is you're not being very flexible. <laughs> That's part of the gaslighting. A second game that they love to play, and this is very similar to this first one, but it has a little bit of a different slant to it. Uh, I call this one, yeah, well, I changed my mind. Now, when somebody says I intended to, but they are really working hard to, uh, to, to be friendly. Uh, other times though, a narcissist can see you as being a nuisance and they're thinking, I just got to say whatever is expedient in the moment to get you off my back. So if you say, hey, can you help me out with this project? Or uh, is this something that you would be willing to uh, to consider? They can say, yeah, I'll do that. And then all the while they know there's absolutely no way I'm going to do that. Uh, whereas the first one can actually convince themselves that they really are friendly and helpful. In this case, it's like, nah, I'm just saying uh, empty words, knowing full well, I will not follow through. And then by the time you figure it out, maybe you'll just quit asking me those questions in the first place. And so they're not nearly as, as, uh, as image conscious as that first game might imply. They just want to shut you up for the, the temporary. That's one of their games. Um, a second game, or excuse me, a third game that they might play is the uh, the game that I call I'm running a little bit behind. How many people do you know uh, who just cannot be counted on in the punctuality department? Now, again, we can say that there are times when certain things come along that throw us off our timetable, but there are some individuals who are consistently the same amount of late or consistently the same amount of uh, unreliable in the way they do things, but they always have a great excuse. 
Um, reliability is simply not part of it. Uh, they don't have a real conscientious sense about doing things. Basically, in their behaviors, particularly the more uh, persistent they are in this, what they're conveying is my parameters and my time needs matter. Yours don't. Uh, but, uh, they just, uh, they just refuse to say, Hey, look, uh, I, I don't want to do things on your time frame. It's their way of controlling. And if you say, I don't like what you're doing, it's like, well, uh, next time I tell you, I'm going to be there at nine o'clock and count on it. I won't. It's not going to happen. Uh, it's just their way of letting it be known. I'm the only one in here whose word matters. And if it, if it doesn't fit with what you want too bad. A fourth passive aggressive controlling game they play. I call this one, well, I thought it was funny. Now, there are times when narcissists want to belittle you. They want to put you down and, and uh, remind you that you really are the inadequate person. But instead of saying you really are an inadequate person, they'll make a joke about it. And they'll say something to the effect of, well, when you did such and such, you thought it was going to come through. Man, did you fall flat on your face? And when you complained about it, it's like, I'm just kidding. Uh, back off. And, and so if they have an audience in front of them, that's even better. Uh, they can say something like, oh, do you remember the time when she did this and when he did that? <laughs> so that was the craziest thing you ever saw, wasn't it? And then you are later on will say, that really hurt my feelings then the passive aggressive controller can say, you're just too thin skinned, uh, just lighten up. Can't you take a joke? That's one of their favorites. A fifth passive aggressive controlling game is what I call poof. You don't exist. Now, there are times when narcissists want to convey strongly uh, their uh, disapproval of you and, and how disgruntled they are, uh, they are toward you. Uh, but instead of saying it out loud, it's like, here comes the silent treatment. They can completely go dark and they will ghost you. Uh, when you ask them to explain your whereabouts, it's like, I don't explain anything. Or if you talk with them about your concerns and your needs, they can give you that stone cold looking ahead, not looking at you uh, kind of glare. And then when you say, so what's going on? Crickets, <laughs> they just won't say anything. Poof. You don't exist and it's very insulting and it can leave you wondering, well, am, am I being problematic here? That's the gaslighting. A sixth game that they love to play is giving compliments, but with a complaint. Uh, so they might say something like, I really like the way you handled that. It's too bad that uh, it just didn't seem to fit with everybody else's schemes now, isn't it? Or uh, this uh, this project you were working on, um, I, I think that uh, that you did a, a good job on that. Um, problem is, uh, it looks like we didn't need to have it happen in the first place. I'm uh, sorry about that. And so they can give you a compliment. Uh, you look really nice, but I, I think you might be overdressed. You know, something like that. And then when you call them, uh, call them out on it, it's like, hey, look, I'm just trying to be nice. I'm trying to give you a compliment. All you can do is gripe and complain. That's the gaslighting part. And then a seventh passive aggressive controlling game that they'll play is what I call, I can, but you can't. Uh, narcissists are, are known for having many, many double standards. For example, I can be in a bad mood. You can't. I can spend extra money. You better not. I can goof off and be lazy. Why aren't you doing your work? Or I can gripe about your family, but I'd better not hear you gripe about mine or friends or uh, coworkers, whatever. And uh, then when you come along and say, well, you know, looks like we got a double standard, uh, then they can come along and say, you just, all you do is criticize me. You can't do that. Of course, they criticize all over the place. So these are ways that these individuals will try to keep you under their thumb. It's their way of saying, you don't hold me accountable. I'm in control. We do things according to my rules and my standards. Now, one of the, the, the uh, favorite responses they love to hear back from you is your arguments. When you come along and say, you're being so unreasonable, or what's wrong with you, or why do you have to uh, treat me this way? then they'll just come right back and say, you're the one who's griping and complaining, not me. The passive aggressive person always wins. They, they already have established the rules in advance. But what if we decided I'm not in competition with this person? You can declare yourself the winner all you want, but I have a different way of looking at this. 
You see, in my mind, I'm thinking it's, it's clear that you're a game player, but I'm not. Or it's clear that you like to humiliate. That's not my game. I don't do that and I, don't, I won't receive it. It's clear that you can't be responsible. I like being with responsible people. It's clear that you're incapable of having heart connections. I like to connect at a heart connection. It's good for me to know uh, where you're coming from. It's clear that you like to toy with me. I'm no one's toy. It's clear that you do not prioritize honesty. I do. Honesty and trust are hall uh, hallmarks in the way that I do life. It's clear that you are not a safe person. But you know what? I'm going to practice self-care. Narcissists will uh, go to all sorts of lengths to try to stay in control of you. The passive, aggressive, controlling games, and by the way, I could mention plenty more, are their ways of saying, uh, I'm not accountable, I'm above the fray, but I'm hoping you can see straight through it and it's like, you know what, why don't we just declare you king or queen of the hill because I'm not on that hill anyway. I'm over here on Team Healthy. I'm going to do things in a, in a uh, proper kind of way and live my life with good standards and principles. And if it means that you're not going to engage with me, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get comfortable with that idea. I hope that gives you uh, this uh, uh, videos like this, give you some good food for thought and give you some insight as to what you're dealing with. If you've not already done so, I would certainly encourage you to hit that subscribe button, the notification bell that goes along with it. Many times when you uh, are uh, introduced to subjects like this, it can prompt the need to seek out some sort of therapy. If you have a therapist in your area, certainly I would encourage you to seek that out. Or if you would prefer, we have a sponsor that can help you with online therapy. And there's a whole host, a whole team of uh, therapists who can, uh, that you can choose from that can help sift through these kind of things. And I would strongly encourage that. In addition, we have my courses. Uh, and these are uh, multiple videos with written material and um, uh, thought-provoking questions that go along, along with each lesson. And uh, they're meant to have a very strong uh, therapeutic uh, in, uh, intent toward, towards it. Uh, this is me, which is about setting boundaries, free to be, which is about finding yourself despite the controllers in your life. In addition, we also have my books and other resources below. That's, that's why it's all down there. Okay. Uh, we know that uh, narcissists are game players. I hope that you can see straight through their games and in doing so, it's like, I'm going to stay on my path towards healthiness. That, that individual does not set my pace. Because you see, I want to have a sense of consistency in my life, and I'm not going to let them bring their dysregulation to me. I'm a person that's, uh, that's committed to dignity, respect, and civility, because I like being a person that's known as a person of peace.